Time to talk about China's Type 095 nuclear attack submarine. The development of the Type 095 is seen as a key part of China's efforts to modernize its naval forces and increase its capacity to project power in the region. It will be a successor to the Type 093 and its derivatives, which are currently in service with the People's Liberation Army Navy, or the PLAN. The Type 095 is believed to be a major upgrade in terms of stealth, detection, and weapons capabilities. This video presents 8 likely facts on the Type 095 attack submarine. Of course, everything about Chinese submarines are shrouded in secrecy. My views are based on my long-term monitoring of both the Type 095 program and Chinese submarine technology in general. Please note all the pictures shown in this video are not the Type 095. They are mainly the Type 093 and their derivatives. Anyway, my first observation is that the Type 095 is being assembled right now. How do I know this? Well, new satellite imagery of China's Bohai shipyard in November 2022 revealed something very interesting and pertaining to the Type 095. The Bohai shipyard in the Liaoning province builds all of China's nuclear-powered submarines. The Bohai shipyard has been massively expanded in recent years in preparation for a massive increase in submarine production. In November 2022, new satellite images showed new modules of submarine pressure hulls. What is interesting about these new hull modules is that they have a diameter of 12 meters. This is something new. Submarine modules seen in the past at Bohai have only been between 9 and 10 meters in diameter. These are used for constructing the Type 093 and 094 submarines. The new modules with a diameter of 12 meters therefore points to the construction of a new class of submarines. We have some rumors that the Type 095 will have a 12 meter diameter with a single hull design, which by the way is unlike the double hulls of all Chinese submarines built so far. So the new 12 meter submarine sections we have seen closely match the alleged dimension of the Type 095. This would suggest that the Type 095 SSN is already being assembled at the Bohai shipyard right now. Because this is the first boat of a new class of submarines, construction may take a fairly long time, possibly several years before launch. In comparison, the first Virginia-class SSN took four years between keel laying and launch, while the subsequent boat took only one and a half years. As the number of units of a submarine class or any warship class in general increases, the production time for each additional unit tends to fall drastically. So the Type 095 may still have a few years to go before being launched, but it seems pretty likely they are being constructed as we speak. After China builds a small number of units, the production time for each additional submarine should fall dramatically due to benefits associated with experience and economies of scale. My second position is that the Type 095 will have a vertical launch system, or VLS, and this will be a large VLS comprising of a large number of missile tubes, far more than China's existing Type 093B SSN, and indeed far more than the majority of the US Virginia class or Blocks 1 to 4 of the Virginia. The majority of the Chinese naval observers considers a VLS armament to be all but assured for the Type 095. China has already built the Type 093B SSN, and they have a VLS armament right behind the sail 
for storing and launching both the YJ-18 anti-ship missile and the CJ-10 land attack cruise missile. Chinese strategists have spoken at length about the advantages offered by vertically launched missiles on submarines, and clearly see these as a key requirement for SSNs. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that the Type 095 will be using a VLS. Furthermore, the Type 095 is likely to rely on these as its primary weapon. So its VLS armament will consequently need to be very large, somewhere between 20 to 30 missile tubes. But why does it need so many VLS? Are 30 missiles really necessary? Well, the truth is, even 30 missiles are not excessive by any means. The Block 5 of the Virginia class has a grand total of 40 Tomahawk missiles carried inside its VLS modules. The large VLS armament of the Type 095 is necessary for its mission requirements. Once China is able to do so, a fleet of around a dozen Type 095 SSNs will be permanently maintained around US bases in the second island chain, especially on Guam. In the event of hostilities, their job is to launch strikes against key targets behind the first line of defense in the first island chain including air bases, radar stations, and aircraft carriers. Submarine-launched missiles can attack from multiple angles, achieve greater surprise, and fire from close range, which reduces the warning time for the opponent. A large VLS module is therefore essential to achieve these capability requirements. This brings me to my next point. The Type 095 will deploy a submarine version of the YJ-21 anti-ship ballistic missile. The Type 095 should be able to fire older weapons carried by the Universal UVLS on PLA Navy destroyers. These include the CJ-10 land attack missile, the YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missile, and the newer and far more dangerous YJ-21. The number of missile tubes on submarine VLS, even for the large nuclear-powered submarines, will necessarily be far fewer than surface warships. A small number of traditional anti-ship missiles launched by a submarine will be too easily intercepted. This is why the YJ-21 will be the preferred weapon of choice because even a small number of YJ-21 will be incredibly hard to intercept. The Type 095 can launch the YJ-21 at a much shorter range than a surface warship, which shortens the effective window of interception, and basically reduces the opponent's reaction time to virtually nothing. Even a single Type 095 armed with a full salvo of 24 YJ-21s will pose a real threat to even the most well-defended aircraft carriers and their escorts. A submarine version of the YJ-21 seems to be the most logical development to invest resources. We may see the weapon placed inside special canisters to allow underwater launch. By the way, if you enjoyed our video so far, please press the like button. The Type 095 is expected to be very silent, with an average noise level at or close to the ocean background noise. The class will be as quiet as the most advanced US Navy submarines, such as the Seawolf and Virginia classes, and much quieter than the older classes, the Los Angeles. Chinese submarine silencing technology has advanced leaps and bounds over the past decade. The Type 095 will certainly benefit from several key advances in this area. This includes natural circulation cooling system for the nuclear reactors, which mitigates the need for noisy water pumps and reduces the noise level of the submarine. 
Another advancement is a more silent propulsion, in the form of a pump jet. A well-designed pump jet is considerably quieter than an equivalent propeller. China's Type 093B has been seen with a green cover over its propeller, raising expectations that it already has a pump jet propulsion. The Type 095 is highly likely to operate a pump jet shrouded propeller. The rafting techniques on Chinese submarines have improved over time, and the coverage of the raft mountings has increased, from just the key machinery to including the accommodation and control spaces. This further lowers noise. The anechoic tiles on the outside of the submarine benefited from better adhesives used to glue the tiles to the boat. This means the anechoic tiles are less likely to come off during a patrol, helping to maintain the stealth benefits of the anechoic tiling system. So, putting all these stealth enhancing technologies together, you can probably see why the Type 095 will be a very quiet submarine. It will be a massive reduction in noise levels from its predecessor, the Type 093. Acoustic stealth is the main feature that makes a submarine dangerous to enemy naval units, and will be a crucial advantage for the Type 095 in a combat situation. Also related to stealth, Albeit to a lesser extent, the Type 095 should have a stealthy sail. China has already commissioned the Type 039C attack submarine some time ago. The most prominent feature of the Type 039C is the sail, which as you can see has a very pronounced angular appearance. It is reminiscent of the stealth contouring used in stealth aircraft and some surface warships to deflect incoming enemy radar and remain undetected. For the Type 095, the main advantage of a stealthy sail is to remain hidden to enemy radar while transiting on the sea surface. Ordinarily, a nuclear-powered submarine has very little reasons to surface during operations, but there are missions that require surfacing. One example is the insertion and extraction of special operations forces behind enemy lines, and the Type 095 may well be called upon to do that. The Type 095 is all but assured to have more advanced sensors than its predecessors, in particular the sonar systems, the main underwater detection hardware for submarines. A key modern standard the Type 095 should meet is a conformal array sonar, positioned in the front. This is in line with the design principles adopted by all the major leading navies in the world. The sonar array is designed to conform to the submarine's casing, allowing it to be positioned to provide widespread coverage. This system represents a significant improvement on preceding designs. It allows a larger surface area for hydrophone arrays, and thus greater sensitivity in passive mode compared to the older spherical sonar configuration. Furthermore, compared to the even older cylindrical arrays, the conformal array has an even greater advantage in coverage and sensitivity. My next prediction is that the Type 095 will eventually have the ability to control multiple unmanned underwater vehicles simultaneously. This may not happen immediately after entering service, but should be a key area of development for future variants of the class. Given the perceived important role unmanned submersibles will play in future naval warfare, the ability to deploy underwater drones is a key requirement of the future classes of US and UK SSNs. Chinese scientists have produced 
groundbreaking research enabling long-distance underwater communications. The difficulty in underwater communication has long been the main hurdle to allow submarines to control unmanned submersibles. However, the new Chinese technology is small enough to be used on submarines and should allow submarines and drones to maintain contact over a distance of 100 kilometers, according to the scientist. Therefore, I expect the Type 095 to eventually be able to act as a stealthy control platform for underwater drones, and this will provide all sorts of tactical and strategic advantages in naval warfare. At the stern of the boat, there is likely to be an X configuration of rudders and planes on the Type 095. The X rudder is of course nothing new. The application of X tail rudders on submarines has been long established and has been used by the German Type 212 and Type 214 classes, the Australian Collins class and the Japanese Soyuz and the Taige, and the French Soufran class. China is currently developing its own X-tail rudders for submarines. A procurement document from a leading Chinese naval research institute was recently unveiled. The document invited manufacturers to submit bids for a special steering gear for operating the X-tail rudders. It is therefore quite likely that the fruit of that research will benefit the Type 095 SSN. An X-tail rudder on the Type 095 offers the following benefits. With the X-rudder design, all four planes can be used as part of any maneuver. Therefore, an X-rudder increased maneuverability for the same size of the control surfaces. Secondly, the configuration improves water flow characteristics, which helps to reduce the overall noise level of the submarine. If a submarine cannot be seen or heard, then it can't be found, attacked, and destroyed. They make unintentional grounding in shallow waters less likely, and are useful if the submarine is designed to sit close to the seabed. So, providing that China perfects the technology for the X-Rudder configuration in time for the Type 095, it will almost certainly be used on the submarine. The Type 095 will be very silent, extremely stealthy, heavily armed, and most dangerous. They will be a key component of Chinese naval modernization over the next two decades. Qualitatively, the Type 095 is expected to be fully competitive with any of the world-leading submarine designs, whether that be the Virginia class or the UK's Astute. Providing the Type 095 does meet the high standards expected of them, it would not be surprising if China built 40, 50, or even more of these submarines. With these numbers, the PLAN will be able to maintain a permanent presence of guided missile submarines near every single US base in the Western Pacific, and to escort China's aircraft carriers. Providing they are produced in large numbers, the Type 095 will have the potential to shift the naval balance of power in the Pacific Ocean and to a lesser extent throughout the world in general. In this video, I've made a number of key predictions for the class. Firstly, the Type 095 will have a large VLS armament to allow the rapid firing of missiles. Secondly, the class should be able to use the YJ-21 to deadly effect. The class will be very silent, emitting a noise level no higher than the ocean background noise. It will eventually have the ability to control multiple underwater drones, widely seen as a key part of future naval warfare. It will have all the other standard features of a modern sub, 
including a conformal array sonar and the X-tail configuration of diving planes and rudders. All these weapons and technologies combine to make the Type 095 a highly stealthy and highly dangerous predator of the ocean. To see some informed speculation on China's Type 096 nuclear ballistic missile submarine, the country's future undersea nuclear deterrence, please watch this video right here. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos in the future.